reading about your accomplishments this past year has been been really inspiring and you've all had really great years. Thank you for having me and I'm excited to talk to y'all. We'll start off with Miss Julie Harrison. What a great year you had representing Louisiana. You made it to the USGA Senior Women's Am Championship at Trim Country Club and made match play, finishing as the 41st seed, went on to win your first match, which is extremely hard to do in any USGA event. But how proud are you to represent your state on a national level like that? Oh, that means everything. Good to see you, Julie. I was there when you won your 2015 amateur at Gray. That was just awesome. We follow you, all the old ladies. So going to the senior amateur is always a goal of mine. USGA events are incredible, and I've been blessed to get to go to, that's my ninth senior amateur. So making the cut is always a toughie. Um, you know, you play different climate, different courses, but I've just, I, I'm a hard worker, put in a lot of hours. And uh, this year was extremely difficult because I've moved my parents here. So I'm a caregiver now. So I have to kind of figure out time management, but I was able to get that done and win a match. So I felt like it was a very successful year. You had a lot of success in the state as well. You won the player of the year title by 105 points, made it to the semifinals of the 95th Louisiana Amateur, and then second place in the Louisiana four ball. So a lot of success against them different demographic, younger people, older people. So what can you say about how you're still able to compete against these great players in our state? I guess I have to give a lot of credit to my husband. He was the former LSU golf coach. So I think I learned correctly how to play and how to practice and how to prepare. So I don't waste a lot of time, just golf. But I enjoy playing with all levels from the teenagers and getting to play Sarah at state was just so much fun. And now I get to follow her. So love playing in the state events. And I think the LGA does a wonderful job. Yeah. Speaking of state amateur, Louisiana state amateur, Sarah, you made it to the finals. You ended up going 21 holes in that match and fell just slightly short. But what does it mean to make it all the way to the finals of such a elite championship? I think the best part of it all was that the championship was at my home course. So I had the, my every weekend group there with me. There were about 20 people from the course. They had followed me for the last three holes. And I just remember looking back on the second playoff hole and there were just tons of carts that were following me. And I think that was the most special thing with my family being there, all the people that play with every weekend that we're there too. And that was just super special to me. Being able to make it that far, I actually really surprised myself. I just went in and I told myself that I was going to have fun. It was at my home course, so I can just play freely. Got to play some really good players like Miss Julie and then Emma, who eventually won it too. I was just surrounded by really good golfers and really awesome people. And it was a lot of fun. Well, you didn't fall short at the women's four ball. You ended up winning that one with your partner and your cousin, Catherine. What did that mean to get that title? That was really special, being able to win it with Catherine. When we go and we play with our dad and then my uncle, her dad, we always make it a competition between each other, like a little family rivalry. So it was fun to be able to play as a team. And my mom and sister were there to watch for that too. And it's just, it's so, so special when you can have like family setting. So it was really nice to win that one too. And then once again, played great players like Miss Julie. So yeah, it was awesome. When you found out you were the player of the year, what did it mean to you and your golf career moving forward? It meant a lot, really, because in the past with LGA events, I really haven't competed the best. And I found within the past year, I've really played my better golf. So it was nice to see that it finally the practice and all hard work really paid off this year. So, so yeah, I would say it was a very big honor. So Kyle, speaking of four ball champions, you won the four ball this year with your brother, Brady. What did that mean to get that done with your brother as a team together? It was exciting. We went in last year before and we came in second. So we knew going into this year, we had a good chance and we started off slow both days, but the fact that he knows my game and I know his game as well as anybody had definitely helped us and we finally got it done so it was exciting to do it with him and our entire family was there my parents and his wife were there so it made it a whole family affair and it was exciting and I enjoyed it a lot. Another one of your accolades over the summer you qualified for the 123rd U.S. Amateur at Cherry Hills you shot seven under over 36 holes such an elite tournament so difficult to even get to that tournament what did that mean to make it to Cherry Hills and be able to play against the best players in the world? 
It's definitely been my biggest accomplishment so far in all of my golf career. I didn't expect to get there, to be honest. It was at my home course, the uh, qualifier was. And, you know, going into the last hole, I had no idea I was even in a chance to qualify. And then the experience to get there and the experience to play, it's just so cool to see some of the best amateur golfers in the world and try and compete against them and to learn from them as well, to understand that I still have a long way to go. And it's nice to see the progress that is happening. Another one of your standout finishes this summer, solo fourth at the Louisiana Amateur. That kind of solidified you as the player of the year. What does it mean for you to be the Louisiana player of the year this year? It means a lot. I actually found out while I was playing in a college tournament uh, from an email. And to be honest, I started thinking about it a lot more than I actually thought about the golf uh, tournament while I was there. But it meant a lot. And I didn't really know I was up for the award until, like you said, maybe after the state am. And I'm proud that I was able to achieve that. Well, congratulations to all of you. It's been really fun to follow along and, and see how your amateur careers have gone this year. And I look forward to seeing where y'all go next. Thank you for having me today. Thank you very Thank much. You. Good luck. Thank you.